Hi, I'm Holly. I work for Cataraqui Conservation and I wanted to tell you about one of the kinds of watershed monitoring that we do. We, each year between November 15th and May 15th when there's snow on the ground, we complete snow surveys. I'll show you how we take samples of the snow now. We use this snow survey tube and it's pretty simple. What we do is we use the tube to collect a core of snow. And as you can see, we've had a lot of snow up until this point this winter, and we have a depth of 45 centimeters of snow, so that's quite a bit of snow. And then what I do is carefully take the snow tube out, brush off the outside, and then I've got a very Canadian-made tool here. It's an old hockey stick that's been modified. And then I take the snow out into my collection bucket, making sure that it's all out. And what I would normally do if this was a complete snow survey location would be to move along 10 different points, collecting at each spot, taking note of the snow depth, as well as the crust conditions. So if this was a couple of days ago, we would have had really crusty snow on top, and that's important to know because if we get rain or during a snow melt, the snow melts differently and the water moves into our area, lakes and rivers more quickly if we have a crusty layer on top. And that's what we use this information for primarily is flood forecasting and warning. What I would do after I finish the 10 survey points in this, at this one location would be to take the bag of snow and then weigh it. So I've got this scale. And I would hang the bag, take note of the weight, and because we know the volume of the tube and we know the weight of water, we're able to calculate on average how much water is on the landscape, and that's measured in snow water equivalents, which are millimeters, same as how rain is measured in millimeters. And we're able to give that information to other watershed science staff, our engineers, for flood forecasting and warning. Thank you.